Welcome to Love Them Knives, Love Them Knives channel. We're going to talk about a Savivi knife that's now out in May of 2024. Ooh, baby, you know what? Let's move this up just a bit. We might need the room. This is a big knife here. This is a pretty good sized knife. And this is uh, a collaborative with RS Knife Works. Okay, look at this backspacer though, and this comes in different colors. Uh, I thought it was interesting that you've got a Savivi knife here, but it's coming out with this kind of a pocket clip. Looks like a titanium clip. It only really, really no. Uh, I don't, uh, you know what? I don't know. This might be just steel, actually. Um, it, you know, it looks like a titanium clip. It looks like you wouldn't do this with steel, but it feels like steel. I know I've got these liners under here, but I'm going to check this when we do the disassembly here in a few minutes. That's interesting. Um, it is called the RS-71. And the one I got, well, it's in Nitro V, is the blade steel, but it's the milled ivory black G10 handle with a satin blade. Uh, of course, they're doing the 10th anniversary thing on the CVV boxes. And, and, you know, this one comes with a, um, with a pouch, as most CVVs do. Here it is. Here's your plastic. The knife comes in and a bunch of stickers and a microfiber cloth. Okay, so that's what you get. And put this one back in the box. But, wow, that's a good size knife. It really is. Let's pull over my, uh, my PM2, paramilitary 2, and you can see the difference. I mean, this is a full-size knife here, eight and a quarter inches overall length. Uh, that uh, RS-71 is a lot bigger. Take the uh, Man X2 I've got. Wow, 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 a huge difference in the size there. So this, whew, this is a dog, this is. Uh, let's get the, well, we got a true four inch blade there at what, 102, 103 millimeters, nine and a quarter overall length at 23 and a half centimeters. <laughs> Whoa, that, that is some stuff. That is some stuff. It's a liner lock. Well, it's only a half inch wide, so it's 12.9 millimeters. It's not that thick, necessarily. And the blade stock, let's just catch this part up here. 2.8 millimeters at 0.11. So it's three millimeter blade stock, according to the thickness up here. And I guess that's the thickest part. Uh, and then it's a false edge up here. It's a, a sharp edge there. That is a sharp edge. Yeah, it's a sharp edge. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Um, yeah, it got me convinced. RS Knife Wars. I was interested in that. Uh, and I'm going to flip back to, uh, oh, this kind of gives you the pause and read on the information on it. 9.31 inch overall length. I mean, uh, overall length they're saying. Uh, I said nine and a quarter, we're close. And the designer, here it is. Bob at RS Knife Works. No, Robert uh, at RS Knife Works. And he's been making knives for 12 years, it looks like, since this is 2024, right? Well, there's his Instagram page. And where does he say? Well, it is RS Knife Works on his Instagram page. And he's got a picture of the knife right there. Our dear little... 
RS71. Interesting name. Not sure why they uh, why they called it that. But then I'm not that familiar, who, you know, how he names the models that he makes that are custom pieces as well. This is centered. Wow, drops nice. This didn't drop this nice when I got it out of the box. I did loosen this screw just a tad. And let me check. Yeah, check the centering again. Yeah, it is dead centered. At first, I, I looked at that and I go, is that really... Yeah, but it is. And ambidextrous, uh, oops, ambidextrous thumb studs, which you can reverse finger flick. And here I am doing that again. Okay, okay, I can do that. Uh, there's no fuller or anything that you can flick off of and that kind of thing. But these thumb studs, pretty easy to uh, use. The rear one, not so easy, but you just got to come up from behind it like that and push forward because it's just laying almost right down on the frame, right? So you just kick it forward and it'll fly right out. And then, whoosh, wow, nice drop. Obviously, you can flick it like this. Whoop, there you go. So, however you want to do it, ooh, just hit my stand, <laughs> hit my, hit my, uh, my camera stand. Wow, that yeah, just did it again. This is a big knife. I got to get it away from there. Wow. Ooh, you are, but, uh, nice drop. And ergos are great. Got the palm swell, all this, pretty nice. You've got some jimping here, jimping here, under here, and under here. So you got grip, and you got grip with this in here. See what I'm saying? Wow. So if it's that big, how much does it weigh? And if you paw, if you read the stats that I just showed you, you know. But it's 130 grams, which is not that terribly heavy, is it? So what would that be? About 4.3, maybe. Let's kick it back around. 4.2. 4.58. Okay, okay. 4.58. I get it. But still, that's not much for a knife this big. Uh, reverse grip feels good, too. There's your lanyard hole. Nice big lanyard hole. Obviously, we've got number eights here on the handle and the pocket clip. This is interesting. This gives us some style, doesn't it? Whew. That is maybe a bit of a stabby looking knife, isn't it? Got that dagger thing going on. Which I like. I think that's that's a cool look. It looks very tactical, aggressive, that kind of thing. But that's all right. I can deal with that. It's nice that uh, Civivi cut it loose and decided they're going to get off the three to three and a quarter inch train. And you know, a lot of their knives though, they'll they'll get to three point four eight, but there ain't many that they're doing that's a full four inch blade. And Nitro V, that's nice. Um, Nitro V 14C is all the same to me. What was it? I read somewhere it's like, uh, oh, they were talking about Nitro V in comparison to ABL and or 14C. And if you've read some of the stuff from Knife Steel Nerds, then you would, you know, be in on that kind of stuff. So... Uh, Nitro V, I used to think that was some kind of really, really, but no, it's just, it's really, it just depends on the heat treat, if it's any really better than 14C. It's got toughness, though, you know, and uh, it's got some corrosion resistance, but it's a good user steel, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Feels good in the hand, though, and... 
It's easy to disengage. It's quick over the detent ball. It's already over it. You know, when you go to disengage this right here, and there's your lockup. I mean, that's 25%, and it's jumped here. And it makes it easy to disengage. It in the flipper tab drops on your thumb and just let go. And it just rolls around with me, just walks around. But that's because at first it wasn't doing that, and I just took my number eight torque and just brought it off of it was just a little over tightened. But now, it's just been great. Absolutely wonderful. So, not too heavy. I mean, this is a big, long knife, though. And if dagger-type blades are not your thing, then it's probably not your thing. But it's a new release for May, uh, and it's going to drop on May 8th of 2024. And I shouldn't say it's going to, because it dropped on May 8th, 2024. This video ought to be... May 9th or 10th as far as when I published it. So here it is and going forward. But a nice release with RS Knife Works collaboration. And it comes in different colors. I'm not sure if I even showed the other, you know, variables here. You can get with the green or the black. They both have black blades. And, you know, just that kind of thing. I don't, they didn't say anything about the pocket clip being titanium or not. And then this is pretty generic stuff. How do I open it? It's a liner lock and all that kind of stuff. So that begs uh, the question, let's do a disassembly and see what this thing looks like internally. And it, we shouldn't have any surprises. I can't only imagine. And there's here, so we got to go in through the back. This usually got a little hump and a, and a deal that locks this thing and orients this into the right place. Plus, it keeps the, the pivot from spinning when you try and unscrew it. And, of course, I had already loosened that a little bit. I would cracked it a little less tight so that it would have a nicer drop because that's the way I like mine. And this one, well, they got that one uh, screwed in, didn't they? Wowie, wowie. Okay. I wonder what this one's going to be like to loosen. Whoa, easier. Easier. Oh, mama. And is that a longer screw? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now, that's the big question, isn't it? Is this steel? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Wow, interesting. I could have swore it was titanium, but taking it off and putting it in your hand, you can feel it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Okay. Well, that answers that question. But I can't imagine I'm throwing a tit titanium on here. The one thing is that you might be able to get a titanium clip from, you know, Civivi, because they do sell titanium clips for their knives, and probably a standard, either uh, if you don't like this one because it's just too wild for you, or just not functional enough, you could sw swap it out. They have stamped and or milled titanium clips available. And this is their standard setup, screw-wise, for that. So I think you could do that if you wanted to. Probably wouldn't hurt me to have some extras just laying around here. That I could give, give a shot and see how it works out. Okay, now we got this off. And there's your uh, lock side scale here with G10. Lay that one down. Kick this open. I don't see any internal screws, so this should come off, and it does. Okay. And here's our ceramic bearings, front and back. Okay. And it looks pretty clean, actually. And then there, of course, there's your stop that's just built into this. And... 
and here's the track it runs here and on that uh, liner as well the liners are skeletonized and uh, here's your little hump right in there with that white it's easy to tell where they put the the hump that this this sits down on to uh, to give it the right orientation and there's the little notch right there that sits on that okay I reckon that's your disassembly RS 71 back together wasn't difficult to disassemble uh, pocket clip is unique it's steel so that's adding some heft to it isn't it but it's really not that heavy and it, it's a big long knife shouldn't really take up a lot of real estate front to back in your pocket but woo, it gives you a lot of blade to work with sharp nitro v like the design great you know, little design, collaborative thing with RS Knife Works. I like it. Take care, my friends. We do love them knives. And you guys, stay sharp.